Hey, what's up, guys? This is Cliff from Fathead Cycles, and today I'm going to walk you through a demonstration of our Sony 7000 bundle in this 2018 Harley Davidson Road Glide. The same will ring true if you have any 2014 and up Harley Davidson motorcycle. Let's get started. So, one of the most common complaints that we have out of Harley riders, 14 and up touring bikes, is the amount of time it takes for their head unit to start. The Sony 7000 boots up super fast. Just turn the ignition on. Imagine you just got on your bike, you want to hit the road, boom, we're already getting started here. Simply hit the close and it gets started here for you. Get into Android Auto, you're into maps right there. So it loads up super fast. I'm going to use hand controls to lower the volume a little bit here. So let's do a walkthrough of the interface. So we get a lot of questions about what does Android Auto look like? Um, well, this is your home screen of Android Auto. So you have access to Google Maps, Spotify, music, your phone, your calendar, news, all sorts of items that you can have at your fingertips here. Waze, that's another popular GPS uh, application. Um, and you can customize this screen to look however you'd like. Um, so you can get into Google Maps, simply pop in your destination, and you can get there quickly. Getting back to the home screen, if we want to go into Spotify and kind of dance around in there, um, find the song or playlist that we're looking for, uh, we can get there pretty quickly. Also, hand controls are maintained, so we get that question a lot. I can control volume. Let's say I want to skip to the next song. Easily skip through songs in Spotify, any music application. Um, let's say you have the volume up really high and you come to a stoplight, you can use your right thumb control to mute your volume simply by pushing in the toggle switch. Now, um, a common question we get is, how does my right thumb control work with the Sony 7000? Because on most Harley head units, um, you have your Harley icons, okay? I'm gonna turn that down a little bit here. Clearly on the Sony 7000, you have no Harley icons. They're not there. So the right thumb control acts like the left thumb control. So you won't be able to toggle through any apps on the screen. You gotta use your finger to touch the screen to go through different apps. But the right thumb control does maintain capabilities such as volume, skipping songs, skipping through radio stations. But I think a great feature is the mute ability so that if you come to a stoplight, you don't have to toggle down a bunch of times on your uh, right, or I'm sorry, left hand control uh, to decrease volume. You can simply hit the mute button, come to a stop. Once you get going again, hit it again, and it'll go back to the volume that you had it at before. So lots of cool features. Um, some of the most obviously common ones are maps, um, which are right here for Google. Like I've already gone through, Waze is commonly used, and then music. Um, clearly, none of these features are on your 14, and in most cases, up to 19 Harley-Davidson touring motorcycle. Um, if you have the updated Boom system, the GTS infotainment system, you do have access to Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, but a lot of guys with uh, you know 14 to 19 bikes want these technological conveniences, and the Sony 7000 gives you the ability to do that. Um, so I'm gonna do a little test here. So let's say that you are on the road. Uh, let's say you're looking at your, your uh, looking at your maps and a text message comes in. All right, so there you can see Cliff Fathead sent a text. So you'll see a text is coming in. Um, you can even press it. I sent a text. I sent a text saying Fathead Cycles. It read me Fathead Cycles. Clearly, if you're going really fast, that might be hard to hear, but it always gives you the opportunity. Do you want to reply to that one? I, I don't. I don't want to reply to that, but thank you. She's very persistent. Um, but what you can do is you can pull over and you know address that message if you've been waiting on it. Same thing goes for a phone call. So you can see the phone call coming in. You can make the decision to answer to decline. Unless you mount the microphone, um, you're not going to be able to answer it. Okay. But if you mount the microphone up to probably 15 miles an hour, uh, you could answer it. After that, there's too much wind noise, exhaust, exhaust noise, etc. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and decline it. But those are the notifications that you get while you're riding, which are pretty cool. So if you've been waiting on an important call or there's just somebody that you really want to talk to, you can see that notification come in. So you can choose to pull over and call them back or, or pull over and respond to their text. 
uh, or you can just keep riding. So that's in, in a nutshell, Android Auto, very technologically advanced compared to a lot of the older Harley Davidson uh, audio systems, um, which is really great. So now we're gonna transition over to Apple CarPlay uh, so that Apple users can see how it works. All right, so we're all ready for the Apple CarPlay demonstration. So I've got everything uh, turned off. So we're gonna start right from the beginning just to show that the load up time for Apple CarPlay is completely the same, just as fast. So let's go ahead and turn on the ignition. I've got the Apple phone plugged in. There's the Sony intro screen. Let's go ahead and hit close. And we're ready to go. Hand controls just the same as with Android Auto. So here loaded right up to my music. So let's go ahead and hit home, okay? So we've got the home screen here. So if you need to get back into Apple CarPlay, we can hit there. Want to get back to the Apple CarPlay main screen? There you go. So we have access to our phone, music, Apple Maps, messages. This is what's playing right now. Podcasts, audiobooks, your calendar, whatever you want. We got a second screen. You can even add a third screen. Go Caps. Waze. Zoom somehow has made an appearance in Apple CarPlay. Uh, I don't suggest that on a motorcycle, but you know, hey. Um, your settings, everything's there. If you want to get into individual apps, same thing. Your right thumb control uh, is not going to get to, to different apps like it did uh, through your Harley uh, different apps, um, but you can press each app to get into it. Get back to the home screen. Maps is obviously a, a key element of this. You can have favorites. So if you go out for a long ride, you can do the same thing with Android Auto. Go out for a long ride, you can have your favorites here, get lost and then hit home and it'll take you all the way home. Um, right into music, which we've shown you. You got your phone here and then you can go into messages as well. A great feature of Apple CarPlay is a split screen view, which I'm demonstrating right now. So you've got a view of your maps, you've got your favorites up here, you can see what song you're currently viewing as well as let's say any upcoming calendar events, but uh, anything can be laid out in this screen. It can be customized on your phone. All right, so now we're gonna do a demonstration of the type of notifications you can expect to receive while riding with Apple CarPlay. So we'll show a text message coming in here first. Okay, so there's our text message. We can choose to press it if we want, if we wanna hear. Jennifer Nay said fat head cycles. All right, so that's an uh, example of the type of notifications you can expect to receive from a text message perspective. Um, if you have your microphone mounted, same with Android Auto, you can respond at low speeds. Um, but, you know, more it's just for your information. If you choose to pull over because you've been waiting to hear from that person, you can certainly do that. So, hey, Jen came in again. Let's see what uh, she has to say now. Jennifer Nay said Cliff is bringing sexy back. <laughs> Want to reply? Uh, I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't, but thank you. Okay, so now I'm gonna show a notification of how you can expect to receive a call while riding in Apple CarPlay. Okay, so there you go. So you got the phone call coming in. Uh, you will hear it over your speakers. Um, you can choose to just let it run out or you can choose to decline it. Um, the only way you're gonna be able to answer it and be able to communicate with that person is if you mounted your microphone. So many of you already know and maybe seen some of our advertisements on Facebook, Google, uh, that the Sony 7000 packs a punch. It's got a lot of technological advances over what's perhaps in your Harley motorcycle right now. Um, it's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, it's got a built-in 400 watt four channel amplifier and it's packed with a three year warranty as well. Um, it's our version of this is completely plug and play. We take all the wiring, soldering, shrink wrapping, Tessa taping off your hand and we deliver you a product that's ready to drop in your motorcycle in an hour or less. Uh, you can do it all by yourself, saving you hundreds of dollars uh, versus getting it done by a shop. And just remember, super important is the type of cord that you're using to make the connection from your phone to the Sony 7000. It has to be a factory cable. So what I mean by that is if you have an iPhone, uh, use a lightning cable like that came with your iPhone. If you have a Samsung device uh, or any other Android device, use the cable that is like the one that came with, uh, with your phone. 
Um, you can have a, a different one that you got, say, from Samsung or, or, or a factory actual cable. You just want to watch out from the ones that you get from the grocery store because sometimes those are not data cables. They are just charging cables. So you want to make sure it's a, it's a data cable as well. All right, guys, so that wraps up our Sony 7000 tutorial today. Hopefully it gave a little bit of insight to you Apple users and Android users out there of what you can expect if you put a Sony 7000 in your Harley Davidson 14 and up touring motorcycle. If you want to find out more information about our Sony 7000, go ahead and click the link in the description below. Got everything there, lots of pictures uh, and other install videos as well, so you can know exactly how to install this in your 14 and up Harley Davidson touring motorcycle. Go ahead and check out our website, www.fatheadcycles.com. All sorts of products there uh, that you can take advantage of. Uh, our YouTube page, and of course on Instagram or Facebook. We're here to serve you. Have a great day.